What's good, YouTube family? This your boy, T. Hurst, checking in with you all for the very first time on my very first travel vlog video. Woo, 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 woo. Y'all, let's go. So, y'all, as you can see or saw in the title, this is my 30th birthday celebration. Yes, happy birthday to myself, y'all. So as you saw, I'm taking my 30th trip to the beautiful Jamaica. I did go solo, so this was my first solo trip venturing out of the country. So I was excited and iffy, but y'all, I did not regret nothing about it. As you can see, I landed in the beautiful Montego Bay. Uh, and this was, like I said, my second visit to Jamaica. The first time I stayed in Falmouth at the Excellence Oyster. This time I am staying in the city of Lucy at the Grand Palladium Lady Hamilton. Yes, and it was fire, y'all. I loved everything about this resort, uh, everything. So uh, the resort is situated in Lucy, which is the halfway point between Montego Bay and the Grill. Uh, if you're looking to do a lot of excursions, definitely that's a city to worth looking into uh, since you can get the best of both worlds in both the Grill and Montego Bay. So there upon arrival, I did stay again on the Lady Hamilton side of the property. It is a huge complex. And uh, there upon arrival, I was greeted with a welcome drink. Uh, after the drink, I was assisted to a shuttle, which the shuttle took me right to my room, dropped my luggage off for me. And y'all, my room was gorgeous. I was very happy, as you can see, watch me do my day. <laughs> the big king bed, the living area. Uh, there is a mini bar under the TV that you have stocked daily. Uh, and the room category was the junior suite beachside beachfront. And uh, just like the name says, y'all, I had a great view of the beach and the ocean. After getting settled into the room, I was hungry, y'all. I was starving. I checked in later in the day. It was roughly around 3, 3.30 once I got there. Uh, so I had been traveling all day. And y'all, the first thing I wanted to do was get some jerk chicken. I was hungry. Thankfully, the jerk hut in the main pool area and main beach areas are not far from my room at all. It was only like a building over and behind the next building. So that was very clutch. And so after I got my food and got my belly full, y'all, it was time to start the adventure or my exploration, whatever you want to call it. All right, so on the Lady Hamilton side, there were a few extra perks to this side of the resort. For example, you do have two additional beaches aside from the main beach, uh, which is, this is the first one. You have the Coral Beach, which it is accompanied by a pool as well. The special thing about this portion is it's adults only or supposedly adults only. So, you know, it was more intimate, a little bit more grown up setting and grown up vibe. If you get what I'm saying, pool bar was there. Uh, and then you also have another uh, beach area at the back of the resort that is family friendly and it's called Sunset Cove. And as you can see, uh, the name is very fitting. Sunset was beautiful. Uh, once I made it to this area, uh, I was kind of blown away a little. It, it, it did take me by surprise. Uh, it was a nice beach area, uh, very secluded. But what blew me away was no one was there. This was probably around 6, 6.30 p.m. And it was probably myself and that family right there uh, that you see in the video that was the only ones had the whole beach to ourselves. Just look at this. As you can see, y'all, breathtaking, beautiful, all of the above. To end day one, I did go to a dinner buffet. Uh, dinner was great. I ate at the Mo Bay Buffet. 
and it was good y'all i don't i didn't get any footage or pictures so i do apologize for that uh but that was mainly it i went to dinner and then i pretty much went back to the room to crash out from being tired from traveling but on day two you all i was up and at it early you hear me so i was woke up roughly around 5 30 a.m uh and from that point i was just up so i decided to catch the sunrise i was at it uh, out of the room roughly around 6 30 uh, and just decided to walk the beach and explore so uh, I got some footage of the main pool area uh, with both of the swimming pool bars, as you can see, uh, the kids' water park. So if you are, again, coming with little ones, they definitely will be preoccupied. <laughs> uh, around those areas, there's plenty of seating around the pool, so you'll never have any issues finding a seat or locating anywhere to be uh, comfortable. Even though the resort is massive, it definitely made you feel secluded, kind of wherever you almost went. Um, also on the Grand Palladium Jamaica side is the start of the Las Brisas Beach, which is the main beach area. Uh, at the beginning of it, or on the Grand Palladium Jamaica side, it is rockier on that end. However, I did find enjoyment in that side of the beach. It was a lot of, it was very secluded, uh, wasn't appealing to a lot of people, so therefore it was really empty a lot. So I ended up having that end to myself. So I did enjoy it. But if you do continue on uh, to the Lady Hamilton side, as you can see, you do have the regular beaches, which most people are familiar with. Powder sand, white sand, uh, gets its way out into the water and swim well and deep into the ocean. Uh, clear waters, crystal clear blue, uh, and felt wonderful. So after lounging around the main pool area, I did make my way back to my room to get ready for breakfast. Uh, I did eat at the Negril breakfast buffet, which is one of three breakfast buffets. Uh, there, food was smacking, no complaints at the breakfast buffet at all. Uh, so like I said, my plan for the day on my birthday was literally to just lounge around all day. So I was beach bumming it. Uh, after breakfast, I went and hung out by the main pool bar. Uh, the bartender knew it was my birthday or found out, and he just kept them flowing, y'all. <laughs> when I say kept them flowing, he kept them flowing. And I mean, they, these wasn't weak drinks, you hear me? I know some resorts, they will be a little stingy and shady on the looker. They wasn't holding back at this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. He was keeping them coming fresh. <laughs> I'm faded. <laughs> yep, so that pretty much summed up my day. Uh, so I did take a, a trip back to my room and hung out for a while where I did take a nap. But prior to me falling asleep, I got a random knock at the door. Uh, the sir, um, Bell's Hops, greeted me with a slice of cake for my birthday. So it definitely made me feel special, y'all. So that night after waking up from a nap, I did sleep through dinner. <laughs> I really slawed out because I'm mad at myself for doing that. I slept completely through dinner uh, and I had to go to the sports bar to get food, which is a good thing I will say about this resort. You do have a sports bar that is open 22 hours of the day, all day. They close at 7 a.m. and reopen at 9 a.m., uh, which was pretty dope. So if you do miss dinner like I did, you are able to go get some food still and uh, enjoy yourself. After dinner, I just hung out at Miss Lou's, which is the rooftop pool bar. I didn't get any uh, footage from the sports bar, unfortunately, but that was my night. So on day three, which was my excursion day, and I was very excited, I wanted to start off the morning with a good, good breakfast, of course. I knew I was going to be gone all day. And so I ate at the Blue Lagoon, which is a poolside restaurant overlooking the main pool and the beach and the ocean. And y'all, they had everything you can think of to choose from when it came to breakfast foods and assortment. Uh, I mean, your granola, yogurt, fruits, vegetables, your pancakes, waffles, French toast, eggs, bacon, omelet station, uh, your cereal for kids who may be picky. I mean, everything, y'all. As you can see, my plate was looking good. I had my apple juice and my mimosa, and y'all, I enjoyed the scenery and the food was bomb. So no complaints, the food was great. Homegirl right here was getting down on the violin once I left breakfast, you hear me? And it was just scenic views, y'all. Scenic, look at it. So 
So after leaving breakfast, I did go to the room to get ready for my excursion. As you saw, I had on my Hoochie Daddy swim trunk. <laughs> and uh, yes, I just kicked it around the resort and hung out in lounge until it was time to go. So I did hang out around the main areas of the pool and the beach. So really, there was a pool area. I just wanted to lounge around, take it in, took in a couple of drinks before departing. And then I met in the lobby around 11.15 to depart at 11.30. So the grill is roughly about a 45, 50 minute ride from the resort. Uh, and there on the way, the excursion, it consisted of a catamaran boat tour, a snorkeling, snorkeling, as well as the beautiful Rick's Cafe. Uh, so we did stop first at a souvenir shop, which I didn't get any footage. But after leaving the souvenir shop, we arrived at Jam West, which is a beachside grill and bar uh, on the famous Seven Mile Beach in the grill. They had great food, great vibes, great music playing. However, it did start to rain, so we did have to wait to board the catamaran due to the rain. It didn't rain long, only about 30 minutes it stopped, and we were able to get on board. Once we got on board, y'all, it was a vibe. Uh, it was an open bar on the boat, so you already know the drinks was flowing on deck, and yeah, crazy. After about a 30 to 45 minute ride on the boat, uh, we ended up at a snorkel destination. I did see Dory from Finding Nemo out there, so that was fun. We got back on the boat after about an hour of snorkeling, and y'all, the boat turned up. It went up a little bit more as we headed to Rick's Cafe, and after about another 30, 45 minutes of boating, uh, we ended up at the beautiful Rick's Cafe, and y'all, I was excited. Woo! And Rick's was a vibe. Let me tell y'all, DJ was bumping. He had it turned up. The scene was lit. And yo. Yeah, your boy was out there turned, y'all. But this right here was the main reason I wanted to go. He did jack, you hear me? Yes, sir. So I wanted to go to Rick's Cafe to go cliff jumping. I got a chance to jump a few times. However, I am not a professional like this guy right here. Yeah, wild man. After hanging out at Rick's Cafe for about an hour or so, a little over an hour, we boarded the boat to head back to the drop-off spot of the catamaran. And y'all, the boat ended up turning up. <laughs> Yes, sir. As you can see, the boat definitely turned up some more on the way back in. And so we finally made it back to our destination and went, uh, of course, took the shuttle transfer back to the resort. I made it to the resort just in time to make my dinner reservation. I ate at the Poseidon restaurant, which is a seaside restaurant, but it was obviously nighttime, so no views, uh, but great food to say the least. After leaving dinner, the resort uh, hosted an all-white beach party, as you can see. Good vibes. Everybody at the resort was there. Uh, great vibes. Them Jamaicans definitely know how to party and throw a party. Even though it was family friendly, trust me, they still got down at their resort. So it was, it was lit. So the last day, the morning of my departure date, uh, I decided to eat at the Blue Lagoon again, take in a great breakfast, and just really take in the views and sights of the resort one last time, y'all. Um, I decided to walk the full main beach area all the way out to Lookout Point, which is what you all see here. Uh, the beautiful uh, cliff end of the resort where you look out over the whole property. And y'all, it was beautiful as you can see. Um, after taking in the views, I decided to go hang out at the Coral Beach area, which you saw a snippet of earlier in the video. But I felt like I, that was the one area I didn't really hang out at much. So I wanted to take advantage before departing. So I'm glad I did. The views of this area is awesome. As you saw, it is an adults only section of the property. Uh, so good vibes, very a little bit more intimate and secluded. But look at those views.
Oh, yeah, yeah, very bittersweet, you all. Very bittersweet taking in those views one last time. But I can say overall, the only thing bad about this trip was it was too short. Everything was great. The food, uh, the hospitality, the service, the views, the resort. And thank y'all for tuning in with your boy. T. Hurst checking out.